Welcome back. Moving forward in this lesson, I want to talk about what is auto DevOps essentially mean within GitLab. So with auto DevOps and this option within the GitLab environment or the software development process becomes easier. So if you're developing an enterprise level app, for instance, and you have remote teams working on the same app or software, it becomes very easier or very easy rather to set up as every project can have complete workflow from verification to monitoring right without needing to configure anything it's congruent so to speak right a developer is changing something to the code or something is assigned to the developer let's say a new issue is created right for instance we need to change the title of the home page or certain properties on the home page needs to change so we assign or create an issue or something's not working we create an issue and based on the issue of course then we take the next steps by creating branches and then commit push merge and so on right so the entire workflow from start to finish is one unique set so to speak so the entire process is not everything in one place but it's rather independent yet everything together so to do this we just push the code and GitLab takes care of everything else and that's the bottom line with auto DevOps is we just need to push the code and the GitLab runner for example will take that piece and push it all the way across the pipeline and this makes it easier to start new projects and brings consistency on how applications are set up throughout a company and that's exactly what I mean by best practices right you need things to be consistent for everyone within the organization let's say you have 500 developers working on a single enterprise app well think about this if you were to follow a certain practice right which is consistent that is the key to not only successfully finishing the project on time but reducing costs as well and like I said in my experience working as a enterprise project manager with this environment within the DevOps environment you come across you know I've implemented these consistent methodologies throughout the process for every developer right for every coder and that the outcome is is just amazing right so you get to see the outcome when it actually finishes up and the process starts so talking about the comparison to application platforms and platform as a service the auto devops works with any kubernetes cluster so you're not limited to running on gitlab's infrastructure right and i demonstrated that in in previous lectures where we set up a Kubernetes cluster, we created instances, uh, Ubuntu instances, Linux based, right? And then we installed GitLab and then I showed you the integration as well. So it kind of works seamlessly, right? If you take a look at the entire picture from start to finish of the entire DevOps lifecycle and there's no additional cost and that's the key part for enterprise organizations. Of course, cost sometimes can be a big issue. So there's no additional cost and you can use a self-hosted Kubernetes cluster or containers as a service on any public cloud, such as in this course, I'm using Google Kubernetes engine. The auto DevOps also has additional features, including security testing, performance testing, and code quality testing as well. The goal for any project, right, is to, to get the operational efficiency to achieve the highest level of that right to get more out of our project and that's the bottom line for organizations for project managers for architects for everyone in fact so the it's you know it's comprised of a set of stages auto devops bring these best practices to your project in an easy and automatic way and that's really the benefit of that i find using gitlab so first, of course, you know, the auto build, the auto test, the auto code quality, everything is automated. The static application, security testing, dependencies, containers, review, the dynamic application security, the deployment, the browser performance testing and monitoring. So everything is automated. And as a result, it provides us, you know, basically everything that we need to build powerful solution and deliver powerful software apps to customers. Finally, just the key takeaway uh, in this brief lecture 
is the fact that with Auto DevOps, we can accomplish an end-to-end -end DevOps lifecycle. And everything is automated, so we're not stuck at one point. And the key point here, again, is consistency, right? So no matter where your coders are, where the developers are, which environment they're working on, they are all consistent in their coding practices and the processes. So I hope this helps. Kind of take a look at this, practice, and let's move to the next lesson.